the misadventures of Tron Bond. Hello, Internet! Alus here, and today... Today I realized that I've been showing lots of Mega Man games for PC. For instance, if you've seen previous episodes of this series, you already know that I have, like, for example, Mega Man X4, like, 9 million versions of it, including lots of PC versions, and you already know that I have things like Mega Man X3, both uh, American and European versions, you know that I have a special edition of Mega Man X that comes with a very nice uh, six button controller, and you also know that I have this Chinese special edition of Mega Man X8. All of this for PC, so I decided, you know what? I'm gonna go out and show you everything I have left on PC because there is lots of Mega Man on PC. Um, so rather than making one episode per uh, item, I think it's better if I just show it all out. So yeah, I'm not gonna be showing this again. Uh, if you are interested, look in the description of this video. There are gonna be links to the whole uh, playlist with all the episodes for this series. Uh, so yeah, let's start looking at other nice, interesting things. For example, Mega Man Legends. I think everybody knows that the game came out for the PC. Uh, this is the only version that I have and it's probably the most boring thing that I have to show today, so I'm gonna start with this. Um, yeah, I don't have the big box for this game. I don't even know if it came out uh, with a big box thingy. Um, so, uh, yeah, that's it. It comes with a manual, at least, that shows you that, yeah, this is for, uh, for Windows, and it uses a keyboard, it's all black and white, but at least it has color to it, has, um, some it's color sorry so it has images to it uh so yeah this is Mega Man legends on pc interestingly Mega Man legends 2 was never released on pc um this is the only Mega Man legends game that i've as far as i know came out on pc but there is more because for example i have two different versions of Mega Man x8 well, two more versions of Mega Man X8 for PC. Uh, this one is the Japanese version that comes in this very nice yellow box. And it was distributed by... What's their name? Uh, Sourcenect uh, Source is, uh, is their name. Um, yeah, this comes with two discs in a yellow flashy <laughs> colored uh, case and as you if you saw the previous episode where we tried to install Mega Man X8 in my current gaming computer this didn't work so I'm not even gonna bother with this but yeah the game came in two discs this is kind of a little bit disappointing because you know it's all black and white and it looks like they made it with consumer level uh, printers so that kind of sucks and then you have this is your installation manual uh, with installation instructions on how to install your game on Windows in case you've never done that. And you get, of course, your uh, registration card where you can... Oh, actually, is this just advertisement? I don't know anymore. I think this is just advertisement for more products that they do. Apparently, they sell things like bicycles. <laughs> um... Okay, <laughs> that's fine. Um, we also have the European version of Mega Man X8 for PC. You can know because of the Peggy rating system. Interestingly, this one apparently was so sold in um, it Italy, as you can see here. This tribute to the something, something, something. Um, yeah, this, I bought this from an Italian seller on the eBay's. Um, I'm not gonna open this because I already know even if I can install it, it's not gonna run in my current hardware. So if I ever get a new computer that can actually run um, these old vintage games, I am definitely gonna consider opening this and showing it up to you. But for now, let's move on. I'm pretty sure most of you have already heard about this. This is the very first Mega Man game that was published for PC. <laughs> so, uh, what's even more interesting is that this is 
a unique game that was made exclusively for PC by this company called High Tech. Can you see it? Yes, you can. Uh, High Tech. And uh, there, there are lots of rumors going on on the internet that the game was made in two weeks and things like that. I don't know how much of that is true, but definitely this is... Well, first, Exhibit A. <laughs> Look at this manual. This is your whole manual. It looks like something they just printed in a uh, photocopying machine. Um, there is absolutely no effort put into this. And I have suspicions that this is not even the real thing, that this is actually a photocopy of the original manual. And you'll see why in a second. But um, yeah, so it came in a diskette in case you had your diskette machine working for the new high density diskettes. Or if you were still trapped in the past it came with a floppy disk you know the ones that are are actually floppy um oh yeah this is uh so old that the thing is peeling off but uh interesting look there is some seals over here that cannot be seen from this side so looks like yeah at least this thing looks legit i don't know because i don't have a diskette uh drive that's old enough to read these things and actually you want to put this uh, your disk gets like this because the idea is that the envelope protects the disk from dust so yeah and of course you have oh more than one registration card let's see what we have here so you have your yeah registration card very important and you also have this exclusive offer buy two and get one free absolutely i'm gonna buy um Edutainment, oh yes, I now I'm curious. <laughs> Does anybody know any of these programs? <laughs> um, edutainment back in the 80s and 90s was uh, not very educational, and but it was lots of fun. So yeah, that's Mega Man on the PC. Uh, needless to say, it didn't sell very well. Uh, by the way, the company that made it, this uh, high-tech expressions, uh, as far as I know, they went out of business. Oh, by the way, you need 512 kilobytes of memory. Wow. Oh, CGA, EGA graphics. Yeah, this came out with, uh, I believe this is 16 colors uh, at most on screen. So this was actually impressive for the time. Uh, I know it looks like crap, especially compared with the NES, but... This is very impressive for what computers were able to do at the time. Anyways, let's move on. Because you also have Mega Man 3 for the PC by High Tech Expressions again. Um, uh, fair warning, never trust a company that has a description as a name. Anything that calls itself like extreme performance or super reliable they are lying that if they have a if they have to choose a description as their name they are not good at what they're doing <laughs> anyways yeah Mega Man 3 for the PC so there is actually no Mega Man 2 Capcom decided to go straight from Mega Man 1 into Mega Man 3 even though the game as you can see is nothing like the actual Mega Man 3 <laughs> or this like and Mega Man 1 um they decided to skip 2 because, well, 3 was the newest game at the time and, of course, they had no way of knowing that Mega Man 2 was going to be the best-selling Mega Man game, I think, ever. So, yeah, um, same company, High Tech Expressions. Um, let's see what we have inside. So, you get ooh, your crappy manual <laughs> and not one, but two floppy disks disk one and disk two i'm pretty sure there's also a diskette in here yes there is and you also get a diskette with which is only one because these ones were high density enough that they can have as much data as the two things and you yeah we have a limited warranty and registration card yeah these are mandatory and again like with the previous game the manual is just one sheet of paper <laughs> um but you can tell that the quality of the printing here is better than than the printing quality in the Mega Man 1 uh, manual. So I'm guessing that this is actually a photocopy 
of the original manual. So this, <laughs> this isn't even the original one. Most likely this is just a photocopy of something like this. As if this wasn't crappy enough already. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, so maybe one day I'll show these games on a live stream. Um, for now, let's move on. Because we also have Mega Man 3 on CD. Can you see the camera from there? You probably can't. Anyways, um, yeah, I don't know if this thing is legit. Uh, first of all, the jewel case has seen better days. <laughs> uh, yeah, I can't find much information about this other than uh, distributed by Scimitar Entertainment. I've seen web pages that talk about this thing, but nothing really conclusive. So I don't know if this is the real deal, especially because you don't need a whole CD to host a game like Mega Man 3. I mean, this is a very, very old game that fits in one uh, in one single diskette. So, and if you see here, can you see the camera now? Uh, you probably can't, but yeah, so this surface that's used is about the width of my finger. Uh, so, yeah, they're using very little of the data uh, space available, so I really don't know. Maybe I should try this. Okay, so here I have a DOS box environment. Uh, I already mounted the diskette into drive A, so if I say there, it's gonna show me all of the fires. Uh, so there.exe gives you mm so we have mega man the game and if we run this it goes straight into the game uh there's no installation or anything like that so yeah the problem here is that uh the game crashes immediately after this screen uh, according to the instructions in dos boxes website all you have to do is disable the joystick here but if i just start the game right now it's gonna load this screen and it's gonna stay there forever no matter what i press i've tried every single key on the keyboard and the game just oh what that was that didn't happen before okay so we're making progress here i don't know what i pressed i'm just gonna keep pressing buttons i don't know if it's oh yeah i see it loaded. oh yes oh yes all right let's see what we can do here so yeah, this is definitely Mega Man 3. Can't help but notice that there is no sound, but press fire. I don't know what fire is. Uh, I probably will have help if I had read the manual. I'm pressing every key on the keyboard <laughs> again. Uh, no matter what I press, nothing seems to happen. The disk drive is not breathing. By the way, I'm using... Oh, oh, oh! Uh, again, I don't know what I pressed. <laughs> Uh, let's try Bitman. Which one is... Oh, oh, it's reading, it's reading, it's doing something. Yeah, I don't know, it seems like it has forced pauses for some reason. All oh, right. Uh, also, the graphics look a little bit nicer-ish because um, I'm using OpenGL Render. Uh, and that's... Oh my goodness, that's a beginner's trap if I ever saw one. <laughs> so, oh, a space shoots. Uh, how do I jump? How do I... How do I... Flip, am I, this is Mega Man. You can't. Have, you can't have shoot without jump. Come on. Uh, where is jump? It can't be that far away from the space bar. Oh my goodness! Does Mega Man really not jump in this game? Is this like not jump and shoot, man? Bloody blazes in hell! Oh oh oh! I heard something. I'm pressing all. Oh oh oh! There you are. Oh there. Oh. Oh, there you are. It's J, obviously. J jumps, a space shoots. <sighs> Who came up with this? <laughs> Anyways, yeah, we can play this. Um, this is coming straight from the um, from the diskette drive, by the way. So yeah, that's that. If I believe, yeah, exit to DOS. Uh, I pressed yes. I swear. Uh, oh, I have to. Press N oh, I have to press Y. <laughs> okay, so that's that. Now let's mount the CD drive. Also, by the way, if you look at this, there, is, there are 64 files and about 400 kilobytes worth of files. Uh, yeah, so let's mount the, the, the CD-ROM one. So here I am on the CD-ROM drive. And as you can see, there 
are only 10 files but there's there are two directories and there is also three megabytes worth of worth of files and the reason for that is because this game can actually be run from windows it's exactly the same game but um it has some extra stuff for windows and the way you play it is oh wait you need to mount a c drive so the way you play it is you just say select and this nice thing pops up. Isn't that the best thing ever? Yes, it is. And uh, so this stuff is not available on the diskette version. And if you go to uh, manual, you get a magnificent slow loading manual that you can click and drag and it doesn't do anything. But you can click over here and you hear magnificent bips into the maze and so on and so forth. It's, it's a thing. <laughs> Extra props for effort. Uh, what else do we have here? Uh, ooh, select tips. Ooh, somebody selected these tips. So, fire past obstacles to hit enemies at long range. Got that? You fire things. Oh, if you click, it beeps. <laughs> eh, whatever. Uh, yeah, figure out how to... Wow, those tips are... <laughs> Anyways, let's see options. Uh, ooh, printer setup in case you want to print the manuals and preferences. Uh, F10 to save, escape to exit, answer yes or no the following. Remove product from... Yeah, so this is why you need a hard disk. Apparently the game installs itself in the hard disk for some reason. You still need the CD-ROM in order to run the game. Uh, yeah, this is pretty neat. Uh, if you go to play... Uh, you run the game in... Oh, requires VGA graphics. That's not true. First of all, it doesn't even have VGA graphics. The best... Well, Tandy can count as VGA, I believe. So let's go to Tandy and disable the joystick. So apparently, this screen is kind of doing something. It takes some time to load or something like that. I don't know if pressing buttons last time did anything. Yeah, apparently pressing buttons does something. Or maybe it's just that the CD-ROM drive loads a lot faster. I don't know. Uh, I'm just going to keep pressing buttons. Yeah, press fire. That's space. Oh, this looks worse. Was it Tandy or CG? Oh, goodness. I already forgot which one is better. Uh, all right. So, yeah. Yeah, J jumps. Yeah. And let me exit to DOS. Yes. And let's try this again. Let's play the game with better graphics with EGA graphics, no joystick, and start the game. And this time I'm not gonna press anything. So here's the logo. High tech expressions, by the way. Oh my goodness. Never trust anything like that with that description as a name. Yeah, apparently you have to press buttons, otherwise it doesn't do anything. So J doesn't do jack, space, doesn't do check. Oh, space does the, the trick. So you have to hit space, obviously. Yeah, space. <sighs> I hate that stuff. But yeah, other than that, it's exactly the same game. Uh, yeah, I, I want to play that guy. Yeah, anytime you want, game. Oh, there you are. So yeah, same game. Uh, jump, shoot, jump, shoot. Yeah, who came up with this layout, <laughs> by the way, with this controller? Bloody blazes in hell, I'm almost dead. Yeah, this game is hard. Bloody hell. Uh, no, no, J. And by the way, I think the game is running way too fast, but that's a thing. Uh, that's a DOS box problem, not a problem with the game. And I'm so dead. Uh, yeah, that's Mega Man 3 on DOS. Uh, apparently, they are exactly the same game. Okay, I think I'm gonna stop things here for now. Uh, this video is getting way longer than I anticipated. Uh, stay tuned for part two, which is gonna be coming real soon. In the meantime, if, if you appreciate me messing up my collection so that you can actually see it, please give me a like, share, comment, rate, subscribe, all the good stuff. Thank you very much, and I'll see you around.